Hey guys, Labyrinth Gaming One here, and this is. Let me just lower down the volume a little bit. Uh, this is Star Citizen, a very popular space sim that now has reached 35 million in community currency. So I'll just talk a little bit about this, and I'll talk about the ship I bought just now, around 20 minutes ago, and some of the features of it, and some of the upcoming things about it. So please enjoy. Just making sure my mic didn't mute there, but uh, yeah. So, I'm just gonna walk you around. This is the hangar, the basic starting hangar. So, they recently added in for Christmassy theme, even though Christmas has just ended around three days ago, a ferny feel, and everybody in the office is off for them. So, yeah. They added in a firing range, but apparently you can't fire yet for some weird reason, because I don't think this is a railgun. I just realized that, I think. I don't know if this is a railgun, so I was just wondering. I am playing on very high and sorry if it got laggy a little bit, so yeah. So this is a space sim that basically is not out yet. It's not even it's in pre-alpha right now. And it is flipping amazing, guys. Just to tell you, it is awesome. And I'll just give you a little bit of a review of my ship I have. I haven't really flown it up because the dogfight module has not been added. I will talk about that in a few minutes. But I'll just show you around my ship. I got the Origin Jumper, Jumper, Jumpstart, I think it is. And it's the 315 PI Explorer, I think. Uh, this is a very popular ship. You see that sort of uh, curved design. And you see this in a lot of trailers. And I understand why. Look at this. They have a uh, central a gun right here. And... Uh, you can use it. And another gun right here. And there's... I think that is a minigun up here. If I'm not... If I'm correct. I am not sure. Okay, let's bug. Bug, 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 bug. Oh, I'm stuck on the wheel. Stuck on the wheel. Stuck on the wheel. Okay, I'm good. Okay. So, I'm pretty sure that is a minigun. Sorry if it's a little dark, but, you know. So, you can actually change it uh, to go into... Uh, I think to go into third person with your character. I think you just press G. Or no, F1 for your character. That's my character right now. You have this spacesuit, uh, uh, whole G to look around, and that's me. That's my character. Uh, and the cool thing is, each of your characters pretty much have like a backstory to your own, and you can go around talking to people. Have you, I think you have a wife with kids, and you can just like chill out. So uh, to use items, I think the default is F. So I change, I change my uh, thing, thing. I kind of look like Han Solo. I actually do, except I kind of look like an actor also. But let's get back into first person. And yeah, this is my ship. I told you about a little bit. Uh, the fur, and I can't get out right now because the dogfight module is not installed yet. It has was supposed to come out December, but I am not sure. I think they delayed it by like a month or something. So it should be coming out pretty soon. So let's hope so. So after use. It actually has individual animations for even climbing up simple ladders into your ship. So press F again to use. And it's me just climbing up, climbing, 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 climbing. And to actually buy one of these ships, it'll cost you money. A real, a re in -game, I think you can buy current when the game is fully released. You can buy games with like full with your in-game currency. But this is the inside of my ship, and for currency-wise, I think the reason it gets up more and more price is because it just increases the player capacity and the amount of engine this has. This costed me around $65, which isn't too bad. I, I think it was definitely worth my money because this game looks freaking awesome. And it actually shows real stats and things, engine one, you know, basic stuff. So let's just jump into the cockpit and tell you more about it. So F to use and booyah, jumped in, sat down. Um, this isn't pre-alpha, so remember there might be a few bugs and there might be some weird frame rate drops. I'm very sorry about that. If you look at the graphics, the graphics just look stunning. And so to turn, you use A and D, and you see it lagging a little bit there. I don't know what that is up with that. I don't know if that's supposed to be there for ruggedness or if it's actually... I don't think it is. I think it's just like an uh, optimization error. So yeah, that's me just inside, and I'll go into third-person view. Uh, you... G, I think, oh no, F1, and that's the back of it, you can't really see it very well, uh, that's the front of it, you can't, still can't see it very well, and that's the uh, free roam almost of it, so yeah, you can just look around, that's me inside the cockpit, there I am, there you get to see some of the space stuff, um, and I really love the graphics in the game, my, my head is kind of spazzing out of my neck, and it just looks amazing, guys. Look at the graphics on this. If you guys, I'm trying to figure out how to render in 4K, and then you guys can find the full immersion of it. And oh my God, does this look freaking amazing! 
origin origin jump jump works yeah jump works is the actual name and you can actually go and you have freedoms you have actual freedoms you can do it this is what i love about a lot of games the freedoms of the game you see the tablets right there freedom you have so much freedom in this game it's ridiculous i love it about that okay so there i am i'm gonna go in third person for a little while actually no i'm not uh sure i'll go third person i know i'm a first person so you see it opens up uh fus and it'll actually open up the hell i didn't i haven't really used the sound much but you can jump off or you can use the ladder and it just looks so nice i just can't get over the graphic quality of this and the dog when the dog fight module comes up it's gonna be freaking amazing so yeah there are guns in this game actually so let's say i'm just gonna give an example that the devs actually did give and it's basically um basically you let's say you're in a ship flying around space which you can do you have unlimited freedom you can do whatever you want there's a single player aspect to it and if you don't want to do it and you don't want to be a soldier in the army you can just be a bandit merchant whatever you want to be <laughs> complete freedom and i love it about that and it's still in pre-alpha and i am still wowed about this by this game it's just amazing so i'll continue my example let's say you see a space station abandoned space station you see that that looks cool so you go in dock it and apparently it's abandoned you can either let's say you find some humans in there you can either rescue them or kill them let's say you find an alien specimen on there and he starts attacking you and you can't defend yourself off jump back on that spaceship fly away take those missiles blow the limb crap out of that space station land on the planet that space station was orbiting around and check out the alien life or whatever the hell is on that planet and that's what i love about this game this game reminds me so much of Star Wars and Warhammer. Well, Warhammer not as much as, you, as possible, more of the spacey sort of aspect of it. But I really don't think I, I, this doesn't look anything really like a Space Marines outfit. I, I don't think this looks very much like it. But you know, these little details that I love, like these little wrinkles in the thing in the space uniform, the tubes. Oh man, I'm, I'm gonna love this game. That's why I spent the money. People have spent fifteen thousand dollars in getting different ships which is ridiculous. I wouldn't spend that much money. I'm gonna wait till the game comes out and then I might try and buy it with in-game currency. There's also another one, which is the Hornet, which is another like allied vehicle, which is sick. Awesome. So yeah, uh, this is actually, I don't know how, I haven't figured out how to properly use this. Maybe I'll figure it out with you guys. There's supposed to be a mouse there, but I think there might be a bug with that. And you can actually customize, you can actually take off parts with this one, put it here, and you can actually customize the parts on this to change like engine out, uh, fuel tank, how long you can stay. And this actually has a fuel system in the game. I'll just go out. Fuel system in the game where you actually like, you can run low on fuel and you can actually die. And there's actually something I really also love about this game is that there's, you can't just fly this thing around aimlessly and let's say you die, you instantly spawn back with this. There's a full insurance system in this game. So basically you pay and you get your ship back. And if you don't pay, you don't get your ship back. But I don't think the ship ever actually disappears. So that's actually a good thing. So I'll just jump into the rail gun thing. I thought it was a rail gun. You see it comes down. Press F again. Sitting down, sitting down, sitting down. Press F1, but I didn't go in third person. So you see like the gun, but I haven't figured out how to shoot yet. I don't think you can shoot. It's just like a spotting tool or something. Let's see. So you see over here, this is basic features of it. And you know what? I really love it so much right now. So much. I just love it so much. So I'll play, I press F real quick and get out of it. So you see the sound of this game is pretty sick. But generally, that's pretty much a big summary of this game. If you want to check out their channel, I'll have it. I'll try and hurry they have it linked below. Otherwise, just type in Star Citizen and go to their website, and they'll have a YouTube channel link there, and they'll show you trailers. And there's also there's different types of space distributors, spacecraft distributors. This is the one I have is the Origin, but there's also Anvil who makes the Hornet, and there's like a bunch of others. And they're also going after the game's actually released. They're going to keep on adding more and more ships, star systems into the game keep on getting adding on to that immersion to the game so you never really get done with the game you can't really finish the game and i love that and you can also let's say you pass the bystanders you design your own spaceship you pass the bystanders for it you can actually the ship's ai sellers will start selling that ship and you can actually buy that and you will get money from the ship you created which is pretty cool so yeah guys uh this is a basic review i love the ship 
I can't wait for the dogfight module to come out in the next month or two. And, oh baby, I'm so excited to fly this thing out. I have four months insurance on this bad boy, over a thousand, two thousand credits, and I am pumped and ready to fly this thing. So yeah, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I promise you I will be uploading more Star Citizen. And I will try and get some news out for you guys, some, like, important gaming news and stuff like that. So yeah, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is Time Frame 1, signing off. Bye.